Hello, hello, hello. 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 Oh, hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. See? Ah, I'm wearing my baby Yoda pants. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So anyway, um, I got this uh thing. I was gonna read to the court, and I just wanted to see how long it was gonna take me. Oh, uh, so y'all know what happened, right? Anyway, to the court of Hawaii. I'm grateful for your time you set aside and for the trust that you've given me. My recommendation to the court is to drop these charges for the sake of justice. My, uh, and to positively, oh, to save the court. <laughs> See, I'm already messing up. It's because I'm filming. So, um, to save the court any further expense and to positively influence the future of the United States and the world. I am already committed to continue working with my counselor and psychologist to refine my diagnosis and medication as to stay on the healthiest life plan possible. I know I have a rare personality type and a unique intelligence. Recently, I have learned that inflammation from root canals can cause temporary insanity and dementia, which actually affected me severely last fall, peaking around the time of the incident. After fixing my tooth, I feel like a different person. This alone should at least establish reasonable doubt about my state of mind at the time of the confusing event. I do have sufficient evidence, including witnesses, video footage, and journal entries, but I believe a trial could expose a network of problems which would put pressure on those involved and that could endanger me again. I'm totally willing to forgive and move forward despite the trauma and paranoia that this caused. And I solved the, pro uh, the problem to a degree by removing myself from the situation. After the slanderous destruction, after the slanderous destruction hit its peak, which this incident represents, I promptly put my hooey up for sale at a low price and sold my property to escape the situation. And sure enough, I have faced no trouble since. I hope that this is evidence enough to show the court that the problems I refer to here are real and I am lucky to be here today. Since then, Hawaii has been showing me so much aloha and I am finding happiness again. The primary individual who actually created this entire situation is the man that targeted me and scammed me into buying that land in the first place. He committed fraud, attacked me, slandered me in every way possible, caused immeasurable, permanent damage to my body, mind, and career. And then he even tried to have me taken out to cover up his tracks. I hear he just left the country again. So at the very least, as the dust settles, I hope the community will appreciate my impact, having a, safe, having a safer dance space and a break from the mayhem. Reflectively, this indicates that my art is finally being received as I meant it to be perceived. It's actually quite an amazing feeling, realizing that I may have helped people like, live happier lives. As I'm sure you know this feeling, being in the position you are. In, uh, in the position of service that you're in. That's why I have ultimate respect. Again, I'm very grateful. Perspective changes everything. So I'm happy to forgive 
and I'll do my best to forget as to move on to broader horizons. But do let me know if the people can use my help to make sure Mr. Peter Beakley shakes hands with justice as well. It would be tragic to see his reign of terror continue. I provided some of the video evi evidence of his violence on a flash drive labeled The Gator during one of his attempts to set me up. Yet his second degree terrorism and assault with a deadly weapon charges were dropped, even though he continuously violated my injunction against harassment the Judge Hawk signed on 6 21 The first video in the evidence file you have shows him clearly hitting me with a machete and saying he intends to hit me again with the blade, and then he threatens my tenants as well. I stood up to a very dangerous individual. If the court sees cause, I'm willing to cooperate with the prosecutors to review police records and incidents on my land, aiming for justice for the community. Despite these challenges, I've been improving my life immensely, working with Care Hawaii, focusing on art and education, and I finally feel inspired to try my hardest to help the world again. For the record, I do unpaid community service daily using my platforms to teach and inspire growth my wild experiences have clarified my purpose in life which is teaching by sharing my lifestyle of inquiry documenting and reflection my visions of the future are bright i am considering dual residency spending more time with my family in Arizona and Utah while maintaining my connection to Hawaii. I ask for trust in my intentions as I've been fully cooperative and my new medications are helping me focus and stay positive. I realize my dark humor contributed to the misunderstandings, gaslightings and bullying, but I'm adjusting my approach and ready to move forward positively. I plan to focus on my universal, universally beneficial creative projects and to share my adventures and discoveries. I was raised to show respect and show forgiveness. All right, yeah. And so I strive to set a good example. The vision of becoming president made me realize my potential to inspire others. During the Occupy Wall, Wall Street movement, Reading the original Declaration of Independence inspired me to conceive a new Declaration of Interdependence. Oh, fuck. I have to enunciate of interdependence. As an offering of presented solutions for the passionate assembly to help them organize their focus. And it might have been... Oh, my arm's getting tired. Oh, It might have been... Where am I? A little bit radical and ahead of its time and I didn't even understand our potential yet nor did I at that age have the vocabulary humility respect and dedication required to stand up for liberty to that degree I was just a 30 year old single dad with a three-year-old daughter and after Occupy dissipated I set the project aside Ultimately, being a father taught me to focus on the incentives if you want to see a positive change in behavior. Punishment is not a productive teaching method. Whoa, 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 whoa. It jumped down to the bottom all of a sudden on accident. Where am I? Holy cow, this is long, dude. The title of my almost finished book is The Avalanche of Circumstance, referring Oh, referencing the chain of events that has unfolded throughout my life that forced me into every awkward position along the way as I faced difficult decisions and conflicts that arose mostly as a side effect of my tendency to do things differently. I've been sabotaged and bullied by attracting narcissists with my authentic way of celebrating life. And it's been such an educational roller coaster ride. I finally learned about psychology enough to deviate from this pattern, I hope. My life feels like a movie about conundrums. 
Dang, it did it again. How do, how do I keep that from jumping up there like that? Ah! Man, so, gotta subtract a few seconds for that. Anyway, um, yeah. And I started, okay, so it feels like a movie about conundrums, and I started scripting, and it may actually become a series of movies here soon, God willing. I feel movies are the most impactful art form available. Art has more power than military, weapons, or any movement. Looking back, I realized the core idea in the declaration that I wrote was mostly based on a, me a mechanism that could give the people their voice back and help us all feel included in our democratic process again. A voting app that would first give all voter voting citizens a certain amount of cryptocurrency every month as a survival salary as to alleviate desperation and inequality. And then they could earn more using a variety of different voting styles with different levels of impact and involvement and fun strategies to keep it fair and keep financial advantage from having more persuasive influence, which would help us be able to make intelligent group decisions and vote on symbiotic solutions rather than just voting on representatives that people seem to be trusting less and less these days as they also lose faith in our system. I'm very patriotic. I have ultimate respect. I realize that without even interfering with what our system already has established, we could see the first peaceful revolution in history where we just start solving our own problems and setting an example of how much people can make a difference in the world if they can organize logically and let our passion drive the force of change. So many of us just wanna feel like we are appreciated for being helpful. My highest priority is to help humanity and Earth find an efficient balance for a prosperous future. I've had vivid visions of a glorious future and I am fully committed to helping make that become a reality. So, 12 minutes from again.